What's up guys? So today's a very sad day in the world of Scott Rose fishing and my guided adventures. So we had a really good day out there. Caught a seven pounder, caught a few five pounders, some fours, had a really banner day except for the fact that one of our fish did not survive. And this is something that happens, honestly, this is only the third time I've ever had a peacock not survive. I'm like 100% catch and release. But when it does happen, instead of just throwing it into the canal and letting it decompose, I, I try and at least eat those fish. So I've eaten two peacocks before over the last five years. This is the third. And today I'm gonna to show you guys the filet process and then the cooking process as well. So unfortunately, here's the peacock, about two and a half pounds. Really healthy fish, he just did not make it on the release. Not super happy looking right now. Okay, so here's the fish. Honestly, a really healthy looking peacock. I still have no idea why he didn't make it. We didn't really take any pictures of him. He was hardly out of the water for only a few seconds, but spawning male, did not catch him off of bed. We caught him deep working a bridge, but he uh, didn't make it as we went to release him. We were pumping a lot of oxygen through him and long story short, he just started shaking like crazy and then just died. So we kept him in the bucket and now I'll show you the process of flying a peacock. So first two things, just grab them by the gills, make a cut like this. Having a sharp knife is really key. Other side, do the exact same thing. And by the way guys, this video isn't me saying go out and catch and eat peacocks because I don't want that to be the case. But if you do have a fish that dies on you, at least try and make something out of it and don't make the fish go to waste. So now I'm just gonna cut down the side. And then once you clear the back line, go underneath. Just like that. I like to do it again on the other side. The reason I don't go do a full fillet on each side at first is so this way the fillet and the fish stay on the, like an equilibrium level and it's easy to fillet the whole thing. So again, let that whole thing go through. And then pushing down against the backbone, cut right up until the end and then right as you reach the tail, cut up. So now you got this thing happening now, it's getting pretty close. Kind of miss a little meat here, but I really saw my fish, that's why. Just working it off of the fillet, or off the backbone. You know, this kind of letting the knife do all the work. You're not sawing at the fish or anything like that. Just kind of letting the knife go over the bones. Now coming over the rib cage. Just like that, and then cut back down underneath because you'll miss the meat here. And honestly, it's a pretty big fillet. This is like about, like I was saying, maybe a two and a half pound, maybe three pound fish. The fillets are pretty big. So then again, the other side. I'm not, again, I'm not the world's best flyer, but that is because I don't really keep fish, even though I constantly guide for them. Missed a little meat there, but this is just the meat on the rib cage. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. There's the fly off that second fish. Again, could have done a better job, but Honestly, you guys could be really picky and say, yeah, you could have gotten a bite of meat here, a bite of meat here, but that's mostly meat off the fish. And at, least, at least we're making something out of it instead of letting this fish just decompose in the canal. So now all I have to do left, there's some bones right here. Just cutting it just like that. And then putting your finger down here, running it along the skin. The key here is to run the knife flat along the skin and not cut into it. If you cut into it, then 
you will cut through the skin, which is not what you want. Okay. There's one fillet. Sorry, peacock. Here's the other one. Again, repeat the cut the bones. That sound kind of went a little too close. There we go. Trying to get as close as you can to the tail. And work back up. attempt but got most of the meat off that fish and now I'm going to come back in where I've made those decisions cut out the bones and the same deal as before cut out the bones now just trim it up this meat right here came off the fin so definitely gonna be very tough no need for that trim up the side Alright guys, so I'm just going to walk you through the steps right now. I cut these peacock pieces into pretty small, manageable sizes. Let them all boil heat up. And let's just try and go for it all because why not. Okay, so seasoning these guys. Everglades seasoning. This stuff is so bomb. All over. Everywhere. Everglades. Yeah. Now, a little salt, not too much because the other place already has it. A little black pepper. And a little red pepper to give it a bit of a kick. My girlfriend Rachel's was working on some white rice, uh, fried rice. And a red pepper action. And that's it, we're making a sauce too. I'll show you the sauce in a second. Alright, I just flipped everything over. It's almost done. It's only been like a minute. These guys, small, small fish fish really, really fast. Okay, fish is done. Sorry for all the loud noises. Fish. Beautiful. More fish. Also beautiful. Take some more paper towels. See that oil coming off? That's that's oil you don't want. Give the peacock a good job. Thank you, thank you for your time in the water. Thanks, buddy. And boom, that's the finished product. Now we gotta actually make the dish itself. Okay, final step: creating the plate, the most important part. So they say. We've got some fish. Got some fried rice. Oh, nice scoops. Great job, Rachel. Now, the most important part. This peanut butter sauce that we made out of soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, peanut butter, ginger, hoisin. and hoisin sauce. It is so, so dope. Just pour that right on top of the fish. Moment of truth, guys. There's the finished result. An unwanted result because I didn't want to kill the peacock, but that looks pretty freaking tasty. Okay guys, I'm trying this peacock. So I just fried it in oil, and then we made that peanut butter sauce, which I was telling you about. I'll put the peanut butter sauce in the description, but... It's honestly really good. It's a really clean white meat fish. It's got a nice firm texture to it. And honestly, I wouldn't kill one just to eat it, but if you run into that situation, not the end of the world.